Hello, I am Yogi Nisunita and this is Meditation, Yoga and Stuff podcast. I believe my dharma or my life's purpose is to share my understanding of meditation, yoga and Ayurveda, holistic healing science of India. I make these amazing wisdoms accessible and adaptable for present times. So let's start. Welcome to the podcast. Uh, today, we're going to talk a little bit about energetic body in uh, wisdom of yoga. And in yoga philosophy, um, the energetic body um, is uh, beautifully defined. Um, there are 72,000 uh, nadis or energy channels in our system. And this is according to yoga philosophy. And yoga also, uh, yoga philosophy also uh, explains uh, these beautiful uh, energetic channel in a diagram. Actually, each and every nadi is has a Sanskrit name, and it's um, uh, the sages knew the function of these channels and how these energy channels um, affected our whole well-being. And these energy channels are not just within our body, they are in and around our body. Uh, so let me give example, what what is it means by around our body? Um, you can call it um, aura or you can call it your personal bubble, like someone steps really close to you and that you don't, if you don't know that person, you immediately step away, even though they're not really touching you, but they are actually entering into your energetic field and that's what the reaction is like. We um, uh, immediately step away from uh, that kind of uh, energy. And, and this is the reaction um, we have. And uh, also these energy channels uh, meet uh, in different places. So wherever these energy channel meet, they create a reservoir of energy because imagine these, these are called energy channels. It's like electricity. Um, and where the electricity, two or three or four or more uh, lines of electricity are going to cross, uh, that's where they, there will be reservoir of energy. And uh, there are, uh, it is said in some yoga philosophy that there are 108 places where our energy channels meet. And that's why uh, you, in yoga philosophy, the mala, the uh, the meditation uh, rosary has 108 beads and one extra bead, which is called guru bead. And so uh, when you're chanting the mantra, you're chanting for all these um, places where there is a reservoir of energy in our system. Um, out of these seven are considered very um, important in a way because there are uh, the this is where the important nadis are made uh, or energy channels meet. And these um, energy channels um, are, uh, all these seven channels are in line with our spine. So our spine is called Meru Danda or it has a very important place in uh, wisdom of yoga. So you will see that uh, the, the movement of asana practice is, um, it's towards aligning or towards working with these energy channels. Um, also, you will see that um, the asana practices prepare us for meditation. So the purpose of uh, physical uh, yoga movement or asana is to help us to move towards um, yoga, um, towards the meditation practice. So sit for a longer period of time. We need a lot of strength to sit lo for a longer period of time. And that's why the conscious awareness is towards uh, working with the body, working with the, with the energy channels as well, uh, so that we can uh, uh, tune into our system. You, we can uh, become more aware of what's happening in our system and also align these energy channels or remove the obstacles or blockages from these energy channels. So uh, the sages even knew um, uh, how many energy channels are meeting in these seven places. So you can see that 
in the form of petal. The, the there is a mandala for each and every chakra or each and every um, um, ch uh, each and every uh, place where these energy channels meet. And these uh, uh, you can see that the muladhara, the base chakra, where four energy channels meet. So it's a it's it has a four petals as a indication or as a uh, indication of uh, how many uh, um, nadis or energy channels are meeting there. So it's amazing how um, the, the sages knew and they, they came to know this wisdom through the meditation. So instead of looking for answer, uh, answers outwards, they turned their awareness inwards. And that's where uh, they found the real answers uh, and they realize that these uh, energy channels, uh, we can actually tap into that. And uh, uh, through our meditation, through our asana practice, through our um, uh, conscious awareness towards these channels. Now, there is also, uh, yes, we have these energy channels and energy uh, body, uh, but also not getting caught into that because this is just the stepping tone to move towards our enlightenment. So when we, um, I can see that there are a lot of um, uh, people get caught into just this and, and just into the, the chakras or just into the uh, working with chakras. So uh, traditionally uh, in uh, wisdom of yoga, we don't really play with the, uh, the kundalini shakti or the energy which is considered uh, at the base of our spine, uh, uh, which is in the three and a half coil. And it is considered, uh, it is called the almost, it looks like apparently snake energy and it uh, rises with the correct practices. Uh, but, uh, but traditionally you never um, consciously play with that. The guru used to give um, used to tap into the disciples' needs, and then um, then the the conscious awareness uh, of the disciple brought into that particular um, area, and then the practices were given. Now, in modern world, how we are, uh, we are going to work with this, and what do I mean by not consciously working with this? Uh, uh, so, in, in traditionally, it is um, uh, when we sit for meditation, we bring awareness towards the energy body, or we can bring awareness towards the spine, but let it happen, let the energy rise in its own way, trust into your system to let it happen, instead of forcing or doing something. So, you can do the practices to conscious, bring conscious awareness, you can work with the mantras, you can work with the goddesses and, and, and the gods for this particular area, but allow them to uh, allow it to happen. Um, it may happen maybe this time of the practice, it may not happen and that's okay. So don't force anything, just allow the wisdom of your system and the divine wisdom work together. And this is what um, what happens when we uh, let go of any outcome in our meditation. Uh, so uh, the intention uh, in the meditation sankalpa uh, is usually bigger than us. It's not like I want to, in, uh, you know, uh, work with my chakra or enlighten or things like that. Instead of that, focusing on, you know, what's happening in the system, the, the intention or sense a sankalpa, concept of sankalpa is very beautiful. This concept of sankalpa is uh, bigger than us. It is in relation to our dharma or our life's purpose. And that life's purpose, what it is, is completely uh, up to um, you. Um, it is really unique. Um, and um, it, it is something that, that has to rise from within. So for you, if it is, uh, if you don't know, meditate on that uh, over the period of time, uh, meditating on the concept of Dharma, um, 
I realized that my sharing the wisdom of yoga is my dharma, wisdom of my meditation, wisdom of Ayurveda. And when that realization came, that sharing wisdom of yoga, Ayurveda and meditation uh, is something, um, when that realization came that this is my dharma, something clicked so beautifully that I can't put uh, it in, express in the words. Um, it felt uh, that I'm home. I, I, I felt that this is what I'm meant to do. And uh, when I start putting energy towards that, uh, it feels right. It feels correct. Uh, it feels uh, amazing. So uh, you tune into your dharma. Uh, when you tune into your dharma or your per life purpose, you you can uh, then realize that something clicks in our energetic system. Our energy body uh, kind of like almost recognizes it. Uh, the, this truth of your dharma, your life's purpose. And you will also notice that the universal energy also then start bringing this, uh, this combination together uh, and start uh, help, uh, help you to work towards uh, this, this life purpose. So consciously tuning into uh, what is your dharma. Also, uh, the energy channels are very powerful because um, it is believed in yoga philosophy that uh, the uh, and also in Ayurveda that uh, your energy channel um, blockages in your energy channels manifest as uh, illnesses in our system. And uh, so our energy channels are very powerful. And then that's why uh, meditation, uh, movement with awareness, yoga practices, uh, asana practices, all this is a, a way to remove these blockages. And this helps us to move towards enlightenment, even though that may not be your purpose and, and you, you don't care about enlightenment, that's okay. What is enlightenment is removing these blockages from in your energy channel and moving towards your optimal well-being. So that's what enlightenment is. So if that is your purpose, then moving towards that with conscious awareness towards your um, towards what's happening in your life, what's happening um, with your energy channels, what is your life purpose. Uh, and life purpose, uh, dharma is usually beyond us. It is bigger picture, uh, bigger than our selfish uh, uh, reasons. Uh, so tuning into that, what is it that you meant to be? This is uh, human life is given to us uh, as a, as a gift, uh, it is said in yoga philosophy after thousand uh, life cycles. And so even though you may not believe in life cycles, just think about it that this is a very uh, beautiful gift given to us because we can think, we can laugh, we can experience this world. So what is the purpose of this life? Tune into that and tune into your energy body where you feel uh, blockages of where you feel release of energy, what's happening in your system. I hope you enjoyed this um, uh, podcast. And also I wanted to say something about, uh, please, um, about the uh, podcast. So if you like what I share, um, please um, Feel free to uh, buy me coffee. Uh, that's the way, uh, uh, kind of like almost uh, donating towards the podcast. So please take a look. I have a, I'm posting a link with this podcast so you can uh, do that. Thank you very much for your support for the podcast. And I will bring more topics on this. Also, if you want to listen to some particular topics, please let me know. Um, I'm happy to chat about any topic on uh, yoga, Ayurveda and meditation. And also um, I'll explain it in a way I understand it. Uh, my take on it, I, uh, I truly believe that uh, my dharma is to share wisdom of yoga, Ayurveda and meditation. So feel free to do that. And also please visit my website to download four free meditations or, or gentle yoga class, or you can also download dosha quiz. Uh, so go in 
to my website and you can find all these links. There is also a free um, Ayurveda introduction to Ayurveda course. So let me know what you think about the website and uh, the podcast. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining me today. Have a beautiful day. Thank you for tuning in. I really appreciate that, that you're taking this time out of your day. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Bye for now. Bye.